Create a tick safe zone around your home by altering the landscape to reduce tick habitat. This can include the following. Clear tall grasses and brush around the homes to increase the amount of sunlight. Place a three foot wide barrier of wood chips or gravel between lawns and wooded areas to restrict tick migration into recreational areas. Mow the lawn frequently. Remove leaf litter. Discourage animals from feeding or living around your home as animals can transport the ticks into your yard. Wood piles should be located as far from your house as possible. Mice, chipmunks, and squirrels can hide and nest in wood piles. Eliminate clutter to reduce the habitat for mammals that carry ticks. Construct fences or plant deer proof or deer resistant plants. A few examples of deer resistant plants include daffodils, American holly, common boxwood, mint, poppies, and snapdragons. Deer repellent may also reduce the attractiveness of plantings to deer. Bird feeders and bird baths should be located as far from your house as possible. Birds can spread immature ticks over great distances as they migrate. Plus, rodents and deer can feed on bird seed. Pets can also carry ticks into your vehicle and homes where the ticks can live for long periods of time until they find a suitable host. After being outdoors, examine your pets for ticks. Tick preventive products are also available for your pet. Hunters can also introduce ticks by bringing harvested animals into the yard. As the animal cools, ticks and other parasites will drop off and search for a new suitable host. Insecticides are available to reduce tick populations. Tick activity is cyclical, with the activity being the highest from late winter to early summer, and then again in the fall. To control nymphal and adult ticks, insecticides should be applied in late spring or early summer, and later on in early fall. A single application of most insecticides is sufficient for the entire summer tick season. Always read and follow the EPA-approved label on the product container.